When we when she came up, I would say Holy Ghost help her. And to start circumstances. When she started leading prayers and worship, I then started asking myself, was she deceiving me at home? To say that the thing was in that time was my thoughts and bedrijen. Hallelujah. Such a person won't God bless. So so is God to say that. Tell somebody don't create a false balance. He says a false balance is an abomination. God hates it. It is a gruwel. God hates it. So don't create it. Don't let all the weight go to your work. Let not all the weight go to your work. All the weight to your work, to your family, to your work, and then go sin. And God, you don't pay attention. You can leave God's house one month, two months, three months, and go and think about yourself. Uit Gods huis en naar uzelf denken. I can't stay home one day. Ik kan niet eens één dag thuis blijven. I said, when it comes to serving God, it's het not the way you feel. Het gaat niet om hoe je zich voelt. Today the way I'm feeling, pa. Ik voel me No, 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 no. Pastor, go to church. Today the way I'm feeling, let me rest. Vandaag ook me voel. Ik ga rusten. Not the way you feel. Not the way you think. If God is to leave us to think the way we want and serve Him, and there will be a lot of accidents in the church. Accidents. Let me talk about the last thing. Then we leave here. Hallelujah. Begin or go according to what you have. If you want God to promote you, leave things, the things that you have, or use, or go by the way of life, so of what you have, with the things that you have. Don't put your trust too much in men. Sit for trial, not on the men. Psalm 146. Verse 3. If God will promote you, use what you have. Begin with that one. Begin with that one. Psalm 146, verse 3. Psalm 146, verse 3. Don't put your trust in man. Whatever you have, start with that one. Amen. And God will promote you. Can we read together? One go. Put, Put your trust in, in no in the Son of Man. In whom there is no help. In whom there is no help. Is it true? Yes. Put not your trust in princes. Somebody somewhere in high position has promised you. He will give you money to start business. So you are waiting and expecting. And for one month, two months, three months, you are waiting and you are expecting. And he makes you sleep and, and, and get big time drinks. And then you sit and you drink. And then sit you in a dream too. If it brings the money, as it gaat brengt, I will do this and do that. This and as I do that, and and buy the car and buy this and and start this. And the auto shop and this do and this. Open the shop and buy this and do it and begin. And this do and that do. And then you you will pick a phone and call. And then they call you and they belt you. Mr. Michael Gidi. And they say to you, I I'm waiting here. You promised me. Then you tell you, yeah 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 yeah. I've not forgotten. I'm not forgetting. I'm I'm still planning. Um, give me two weeks. Two weeks exactly. Two weeks. Friday. Come to the office. Hallelujah. Amen. I am not saying don't ask. Ask. For even Bible say we should ask. But I mean start with what you are. Begin from where you are. If it is one euro, begin with it. Hallelujah. Some of our young ladies who are waiting to marry and they want, they want to get one some of the nice husbands. 
And they are growing and they are sitting because of marriage. They don't want to better their life. They are always sitting down and waiting. They are waiting for nice men to come and marry them. Then go to the courage test and talk there. <laughs> Hallelujah. And the waiting. Instead of studying and learning and doing something to better their life. Look, when you better your life, eh, you will not call the men. They will start coming. Hallelujah. When they see you appear and they, call, they mention the position or they, they see you in that car, they see you the way you are, then they will, they will come. Mama, is that lady okay. Black car. Then give me a name of the car. A very good car. You Porsche the Cayenne. You that woman with the Porsche Cayenne. Is she married? Your mama will say, Oh no. Mama, can you? Hallelujah. Don't wait. Tell somebody, don't wait. Don't wait. Start. Begin. Move, keep going. When the man comes, yes. If he doesn't come, don't wait. You are waiting for a child. No, keep believing God. Go on with your life. Whatever you want, whatever promotion you want, keep going. Move on. If it is business, whatever you have, begin with it. Start selling on the table. Talk to people in their homes. To show it to people when you come to church. Start small, small, small. And God will help you. And when you want to get to, you will get there. Put not your trust in princes. In people in high position. People you think they have money. People you think can help you. I am not saying people can't help you. People will help you if God wants them to help you. That is why I said promotion comes from God. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. Hallelujah. God's promotion is permanent. Or else whatever promotion, anywhere it will come from. Yeah, I promise you, either it will be temporary or it will come with problems. But when God promotes you, it's permanent. As much as you, we are waiting and believing God that he will promote us, we need to move and we take steps. Hallelujah. Amen. Bow your heads with me. It is my prayer. Take out your request. It is my prayer that no one here will end the year like you began it. It is my prayer that no one will live here and go Without seeing God at the end of the year. May God minister to you. May you see promotion in your spiritual life. May you see promotion in your financial life. May you see promotion in your marriage. May you see promotion in your business. May you see promotion in every area of your life. May you see promotion in the life of your children. May you see promotion in your health. May you see promotion in everything that concerns you. In the name of Jesus. Take out your